Hi, I'm Paul Denegris, CEO and founder of VFX Shop, Foxtrot X-Ray, and the host of the VFX for Indies podcast. On this VFX for Indies short, we're talking about how to budget for VFX. While VFX can certainly be a factor in the ever-increasing budgets of Hollywood productions, smart planning will allow you to use VFX in your project without crushing your bottom line. So VFX budgeting tip number one, plan early and collaborate closely. Early planning is crucial. Engage your VFX team during the pre-production phase to identify potential effects-heavy scenes and discuss cost-effective approaches. Collaboration ensures that everyone is on the same page, which can save time and money later. When we're involved early in the process, we can suggest alternatives that still meet the creative vision but are much more budget friendly. For example, using practical effects or stock assets instead of creating completely custom effects from scratch. Budgeting tip number two, prioritize your shots. Not all scenes require high-end VFX. Prioritize your shots and allocate your budget to the most impactful moments. Use simpler, more cost-effective techniques for less critical scenes to maintain overall quality without overspending. Remember, it's all about making smart choices. Use your resources where they will have the biggest impact. If your VFX team is involved in pre-production, they can help you identify where your hero shots are and make them the priority in terms of planning and budgeting. Tip number three, leverage existing assets. Utilize existing assets like stock models, pre-built 3D models, and texture libraries. These resources can significantly cut down on the time and cost involved in creating effects from scratch. There are so many online resources for stock footage now that it's very easy to find something that can be manipulated or repurposed to achieve the effect you want. By tapping into these resources, you can focus your budget on custom elements that truly need to be unique to your story. Tip number four. Use practical effects when possible. Combining practical effects with digital VFX can reduce costs and enhance realism. Practical effects like miniatures, pyrotechnics, or animatronics can be integrated seamlessly with digital effects, often at a lower cost. Sometimes even an out-of-the-box model can accomplish your vision and be less expensive than CGI. Tip number five, opt for experienced VFX supervisors. An experienced VFX supervisor can identify potential issues early and suggest budget-friendly solutions. Their expertise can streamline the process, ensuring that your project stays within budget without sacrificing quality. Well, it's easy now to wear a lot of hats on your production and follow tutorials to accomplish a lot of your VFX yourself. Another pair of eyes that is dedicated to visual effects is invaluable during all phases of a project. We're gonna talk more about VFX supervisors in another video. Tip number six, invest in pre-visualization, also known as previs. Previs helps visualize complex scenes before shooting, allowing you to refine your approach and avoid costly revisions. It's an investment that can save both time and money in the long run. This process also helps the entire team from the director to the actors understand the vision and work more effectively toward it. Previs doesn't have to be fancy. It can be crude thumbnail drawings, but for more complex effects, storyboarding software like Previs Pro or game engines like Unreal will let you virtually make the movie before you go to set. So there's no guesswork. Tip number seven, be open to new technologies. Emerging technologies like real-time rendering and virtual production can offer cost-effective alternatives to traditional VFX. Stay informed about new tools and techniques that can help you achieve your vision more affordably. And keep in mind, virtual production doesn't need to be a giant expensive LED studio. We're starting to see indie productions using off-the-shelf consumer TVs strategically as virtual production solutions. The important thing is to think outside the box and be wary of generative AI solutions unless you know for sure that the data the AI model was trained on was ethically sourced. Remember that AI-generated imagery may have copyright implications that might negatively impact your project's distribution in the future. Tip number eight, realize that not all VFX are created equal. 2D work, primarily compositing, is going to be less expensive than 3D work. CGI, such as elaborate environments, creatures, digital stunt humans, destruction, 
While simple tasks like cleanup, also known as painting out mistakes, may be inexpensive one-off shots, a lot of them can add up and can eat your budget for more elaborate VFX. See our other video on the categories of VFX for more details. And those are our tips on how to budget for VFX. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our VFX related content. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep creating, and we'll see you in the next video. For Foxtrot X-Ray and VFX for Indies, I'm Paul Denegris. Thanks for watching.